And I'm here at Borders Books and Music in Cleveland Heights at Severance. And I am thrilled to be joined by none other than Mr. Johnny Cochran. And Mr. Cochran, thank you so much for the interview and for being on the show. It's great being with you, Stephanie. It's my pleasure. Okay, now you're here to plug your book, which is A Lawyer's Life. And I have a copy right here, of course. And I know that you have authored several other books. So why did you decide that it was now time for this book? Well, in January of uh, 2003, it will be my, my 40th year of practicing law. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was a good time to kind of, you know, set forth my life in court. The 40 years I've spent trying cases across mm -hmm. this country and what it's meant. And, you know, when I was 11 years of age, I decided I wanted to be a lawyer. And I wanted, my idol became Thurgood Marshall. And I wanted to use the law to change society like he did. And this book recounts all of those kinds of things and, and hopefully it'll have some impact. And it's also a way of saying, look, I was here before O.J. Simpson, <laughs> I'm here after it, and I shouldn't be defined by just that one case. There are other cases by which you could define me. Right. Now, you know, I want to talk about that case because it seems like people know you only from the <laughs> O.J. trial. Right. And do you think no matter how many books you put out, that that's going to change? <laughs> well, you know, in some people's minds, it probably won't. But others, and, and the, the thing we've, you know, I'm, I'm in the middle of this books tour of you know, 20, 25 cities. The thing people that say that really I'm, I've been really happy about is that, look, we didn't know. We didn't know about these things about you. So I thought at least it gives them an opportunity. Those who want to, who care, and want to read, and want to learn some of the things. Uh, there's a lot to, 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 to read, I think. And so I'm pleased from that standpoint. 